I've avoided sugar for at least 20 years, and I'm, I'm glad I did. Sugar will do two things. The main thing is that it bonds to your proteins and inactivates them, and you get what are called uh, advanced glycation end products. You get gl glucuronidated proteins. There's one that's in your blood that's an indicator of diabetes called HbA1c. Your doctor can measure that, and it's a good indicator of diabetes. But you don't want to get anywhere near diabetes. A steady, mm -hmm. relatively low level of blood sugar is what we're aiming for, for extra longevity. And it's known that people who can control their blood sugar are healthier in the long run and probably have a slower aging clock. So avoid foods that have a, what's called a high glycemic index, spike your, spike your blood sugar. I've tested my own with, with a, uh, a blood monitor, a glucose monitor. So I know that foods like what just plain white rice, um, of course, desserts are a nightmare for, for the body. Generally, I don't eat a lot of dessert. And the other thing that sugar does is that it dampens your body's defenses against aging. When there's a lot of nutrients around, a lot of amino acids, particularly uh, leucine and serine, and a lot of sugar, your body doesn't defend itself. It, it believes that there's no reason to defend itself. And those defenses such that we've talked about, the sirtuins, mTOR, AMPK, right. shut down when there's too much energy around. And so you don't want to get those spikes. And thirdly, if you go like this through the day with your blood sugar, you'll feel totally overactive and you'll crash. Your body overcompensates and your sugar goes down. Then you feel tired, hungry, and have a brain fog much better to just eat smaller amounts and actually I, I prefer to eat very small amounts for breakfast and for lunch. Most of my calories at dinner.